Greetings, this is Gynthian, and I want to help you master Minecraft so you can enjoy watching and playing Minecraft anywhere. We are playing Skyblock on the play.skycade.net servers. This is my cow farm. It has all my cow spawners. Then I use water to push the cows through to their death. I'm going to rebuild this, but I need to get the resources to do it. Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to start off by putting down some pressure plates in the center, all the way around the hole. This is where the cows will get pushed from. And I just realized I forgot some of the blocks I needed. I'm also going to speed this up. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to get the most out of your Minecraft experience, make sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you know when I produce videos. So right now I'm working on moving some of the spawners so that there's two on each side. And I want to put pistons with sticky, I'm sorry, sticky pistons with blocks on all four sides. And let me go kill these blazes. After putting all the sticky plus pistons in place and adding the blocks in front of them, I'm then going to add these lights, the lanterns to light it up. And then next... I will start filling in all this grass space so that it's covered. Kill off these cows. Throw the meat down through the hole. Let me finish this up and I'll be right back after filling this in and putting the repeaters in place. Okay, now you can see how this works. As the cows appear, they are pushed through the hole. And they fall through and are collected down below. Okay, here I am working on creating some obsidian. Of course, I immediately realized that I could have just bought this obsidian. But... It's the only way to get buckets. They have to be full of either water or lava, and I figured lava was the way to go. Now I'm going to build the portal to the nether, but I am not ready to go through it. The nether looks a little different on Skyblock. Either way, I am just going to build the portal now, light it, and then we'll come back and deal with the actual nether at another time. And here's the final test. One, two, three. And there we go. It's lit. For my next project, I'm going to build a farm that I can use water to harvest all at once. Now first I have to convert this dirt into dirt because it's podzel and I forget what the other one's called but we're going to build this up with dirt and then I can make the water that will allow it to function as a farm. I don't want it to be flowing water so I will add it in so that it's all water sources. I, a villager, a villager zombie, which I will try to capture. Got him. 
killed off the other zombie. Let me go see if I can get something that will allow me to prevent him from despawning. So I can convert him to a villager later. Kill off the spider. And he's gone. Hmm. Well, back to the farm. Okay, I don't need this farm anymore, so I'm going to gather this up so that I can use the dirt. And expand this one out. This is built by four rows of dirt, followed by a row of water to provide irrigation. And then the next level up covers up the water and starts the four blocks of dirt again followed by the water and that will be continued until I create a farm that's the right size and then I'll create a way to harvest it by releasing water over the whole farm okay big reveal and there we have it that is our farm. It has hoppers at the bottom to collect everything and dump it into the double chest. Now, what I have to show you next is how it works. Let's head up to the top of the farm. And I've actually built this farm in previous seasons, maybe a little bigger. Flip the switch releases the water now let's go down and watch what happens as the water pushes everything down there we go water should finish up any second Now, why did it leave the crops on the edge of the hoppers? I guess what I'm going to have to do is lower the hoppers. Again, I'm going to speed this viewing process up so that you get to watch something that takes place a little faster than I did working on it. But essentially, I need to work on lowering the hoppers. And I'm not sure I can lower the hoppers. So, I guess instead, I'll move the hoppers th this direction and get rid of this layer of dirt. Go get some more blocks, come back, fill this in, and now I can create the row of hoppers to do the collection process. Then I can go about planting this whole farm. Turns out it's exactly 16 blocks wide. And it only takes me a minute or two to a few minutes actually to go ahead and plant all the different crops. And I alternate potatoes and carrots because if you alternate crops then it actually grows faster. Okay, I am back. I did some time AFK and the crops have grown so now I can take the time to test it and show you how it works but I'll speed this part up you got that now let's look at the way the crops are going they appear to be overshooting the hoppers but then they disappear because they're actually captured by the hoppers so you don't end up with a lot of crops 
not going into the chest. Just a few over here that didn't get caught. And I could fix that by just moving the wall closer to so they can't overflow quite as far. But that works reasonably well. <laughs> Who is this? And can I get his attention? Finally! And what he wants to do is work out plans to do a collaboration in the future. So you will probably see him again and we'll make the plans. To see how things go. And here I am back at my cow farm. This thing is kind of fun to watch. But first, I want to apologize for the lateness of this video. In real life, we are going through the coronavirus in the United States and a lot of things are on lockdown. So that has made some things more difficult. As for this video, it is coming to a close and I would like to thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye. Hey, if you're still here, please leave a comment. Those always help me out. Let me know what you thought. Or better yet, let me know if you play on this server or whether it's Skyblock.